Gojo has a lot of faith in the next generation and unfortunately it seems like he's not going to be there to see it but who will be the person that will be stepping up after he's gone and would it be Yuji would it be Yuto Kosu would it be Megami or oh, you know that yeah regardless someone is going to avenge Satoru Gojo and the way they're going to do so is by taking down the king of curses but he seems a little bit too strong and broken right now so what would be the best method and how would they be able to break him down these two prodigies Yuto Kotsu and Yuji Tadori both of them having their lives saved by Satoru Gojo and prevented from being executed by the higher ups. This is the next two that Gojo has in mind to be able to surpass him along with Hakuri and that just shows you how much faith he has in the new generation. But what exactly are they going to be able to do against someone like Sakuna, someone like Yurume or someone like Kenjaku and that's exactly what I'm going to explain. If you haven't already make sure you leave a like on the video, I really trust you guys to do so. Subscribe if you're new. Now let's find out the next Satoru Gojo. So the first things first, the reason there's going to to be an accessory Gojo is because he's completely gone. Yes, he lost to Sukuna in a way that is unfathomable, getting cut in half, looking like an Among Us character. So these two were highlighted within that chapter, shown to be most angry and the most pissed off, pretty much worried about the fact that their sensei is gone. Now, what does that mean for the future of Jujutsu Kaisen? Although Kashimo has gone onto the field, these two characters are going to be in the back boiling, wanting to go and attack Sukuna. But exactly what on earth could they do? Yuto Okosu is the same person who tried to go earlier because he wanted to help Gojo in that case. But it wouldn't have been smart because Yuto Okosu would have ended up dying in the result to the hollow purple technique that Gojo did. So the next best thing was for him to go straight after but obviously with Gojo looking like he's winning, he wasn't really going to do that. Yuji on the other hand. They didn't even show any intent to actually go into the battlefield, but you can see that he wants to get revenge on Sukuna even from the earlier chapters before. It's quite obvious. So post time skip, it seems that we have a lot to anticipate from Yuji Tadori, as he's already explained that he's going to eat everything in his way to be able to defeat Sukuna or whoever he needs to defeat. Not to mention, Yuto Kotsu on the other side knows that he wants to kill Kenjaku and doesn't even want Gojo to even deal with that again. And it seems like it might come to pass. But we have somebody who has a little bit of a rebuttal and that person is Kenjaku. Kenjaku believes that nobody can be the next Satoru Gojo but there's two things from Kenjaku that you might have not realized. First of all, Yuto Kotsu cannot be the next Satoru Gojo. If you remember in Shibuya, Gojo was saying that Yuto Okosu was the one that beat up Geto's body which is why Kenjaku was able to even get it in the first place but he doesn't understand that Yuto Okosu could also be him again. Kenjaku looked at this and realized Yes, I understand that you know Yuto Kotsu is strong, but he can never be Gojo. Kenjaku genuinely believes that he is overhyped and not something to be scared of. I mean, as he said before, if he had all the curses at his disposal and he didn't actually share them around the city and when he was fighting Yuto Kotsu with just half, he believed Geto would have won the 24th of December. But unfortunately, Geto didn't use that route. And in fact, Yuto ended up winning. Yuto Kosu has Rika, Boundless Curse Energy, and Mimi Cry to be able to help him in battle. And clearly, this is something that he's been using to come out victorious. I actually don't believe that Yuto Kosu has firmed any L's in any way since we've seen him. He's won every battle that he's gone against people, and clearly, it seems like he's not done losing. The reason that Yuto Kotsu will be able to break the chains and break that limit to become the next Satoru Gojo is genuinely because if you remember in volume 0 of Jujutsu Kaisen, Yuto Kotsu all the time when he's pissed off, angry is when it seems like his friends are injured or in pain or potentially dead. Yuto Kotsu really uses this and emphasizes his strength based on this and that is how he got the amper against Geto. Anger seems to be a great source for Jujutsu sorcerers as Todo said once upon a time to Yuji but to control it is the most important part. But Yuto Kotsu is so gifted already in his arts that anger fueled with his control already would be able to make him win in this scenario. Now would he be able to do anything to Sakura? that is the question and I believe that if he went one-on-one -on -one with Sukuna, Yuto Kosu would have to do something outrageous that we've never seen or use a domain expansion and domain expansion while Sukuna is in the state he is right now is not impossible for Yuto to exactly win. Yuto Kotsu does have reverse curse technique and could actually fight Sukuna to a certain extent although he doesn't have the infinity making him susceptible to most of Sukuna's attacks and more 
attacks that he has in the locker, he then has to be able to navigate through that and fight him on equal cursed energy bases. I mean, Sukuna did need extra cursed energy and he's going to exhaust more after fighting against Kashimo. That means Yuto Kozu probably have similar cursed energy to him, but in terms of skills and repertoire, it doesn't look great on his side. Now, going into Yuji Tadori. This is the one that will surprise a lot of people. But in Yuji's case, Kenjaku was saying that he's actually looking forward to what Yuji Todori can do. Kenjaku throughout Jujutsu Kaisen acts as if he doesn't care about Yuji and what Yuji has to offer. But he's clearly shown at the end of Shibuya when he's about to leave that he believes that Yuji Todori is going to do things that would make him entertained. Now, if you look at it and say, oh, Yuji Todori wouldn't be able to do anything that much, well, you got another thing coming. A secret trump card Yuji Todori has against Sukuna is that if you go back, Sukuna was going against Gojo and Gojo used his hollow purple. In the process of using the hollow purple, the fact that he didn't get hit that much and was actually able to sustain less damage was because it was his own cursed energy. This is something similar, correct? Yuji Itadori is soaked in Sukuna's cursed energy, meaning that if Sukuna does attacks on Yuji Itadori, it wouldn't even have that much of an effect, which shows us clearly that this would be an advantage for Yuji Itadori against Sukuna. Sukuna wouldn't have it as easy to be able to hurt him and, and with Yuji Itadori being able to use potentially some of Sukuna's moves and the curse technique, that would be very endearing and I can't wait to see that. Yuji Itadori throughout the whole series of Jujutsu Kaisen has always been said to have XYZ potential. Yuto Kotsu as well, but Yuji is a bit different. The reason it is is because not only is it from Gojo that's saying that he has the potential, Kenjaku and Sukuna has also had at certain times saying that yo, you should be strong and you will be strong. There's an example where Sukuna was saying, I'm surprised you lost to an inferior opponent and when he was fighting against Yuji Tudori, he said, oh, he's that guy from before and he questioned a lot of things on why he's sturdy, why he's able to do things, why is he so strong. Sukuna pretty much knows that Yuji has hidden strength that has never been shown. He was in his body the whole time and didn't even know he was capable of doing certain things. And Yuji Tudori could just hit them with the left right goodnight and that would be that. So really and truly I believe that Yuji Tudori and Yuto Kotsu potential is almost limitless. They have been through a time skip and you can see Yuji Tudori was cooking and Yuto Kotsu was cooking in the background too. Both of them have their own secret things that they have learnt during that month. And it's really clear since Yuto Kotsu was speaking with Inamaki saying that I need you to do me a favour and Yuji Tudori at the same time was saying that he'll eat anything that he needs to. Not to mention the fact that he's done something that seems to be a soul swap which we have to find out exactly what that is but it shows that his potential could really be limitless. We do not know what Yuji Tudori is capable of but as a main character we've not seen him do anything for such a a long time and him doing something now would be amazing. I'm actually looking forward to seeing Yuji Tudori put in some work because he's been shunned out for too long as a main character of Jujutsu Kaisen. You think even Gojo's the main character at this point? We have to look at it as if Yuji Itadori and Yuto Kotsu went against Sukuna. How would Sukuna be able to fare? And if he uses the 10 shadow technique, who's gonna really stop him when he has Moharaga totality? So the Moharaga totality in my opinion that's where Yuto Kosu is going to shine. This is where he uses multiple of his copy techniques to be able to defeat Sukuna's totality in this case. This would be very helpful while Yuji Itadori or whoever is fighting at this point is fighting Sukuna at the same time. Because Yuji Itadori and Yuta have their different roles. Yuji Itadori because his cursed energy would actually be able to fare up against Sukuna and Yuta Kotsu because Maharaga obviously is an adaptability type of thing and you can destroy him before he adapts to everything that you have. So that is very useful and very entertaining to watch as well, to be fair. So that would be a great tag team and maybe the rest of the other gang could go ahead and fight against Kenjaku because from this moment on you can tell Kenjaku is going to be a real big problem because Gojo's out of the way and he has the 10 game plan and he's going to be strong himself. I think Maki is going to surprise him a lot. Anyway, that's what I think the next Satoru Gojo will be and that's what I think the conclusion might end up being. If you haven't already, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, check the video right here, it's always a banger. And yeah, as I say to the new and old people that come and visit my channel, Jana.